Okay, um, Assalamualaikum. Hello and selamat petang everyone. Uh, so first of all, I would like to thank uh, Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor and Director uh, Center for E-Learning, Prof. Wong, for this opportunity. Um, so uh, I'm Fozia Mayasin from Faculty of Science and Natural Resources. So uh, in this sharing session, uh, I'm going to share uh, all these in the outlines. So this is not uh, the best, but I'm trying uh, my best uh, to give the best to the student uh, until the end of this semester and so wish me best of luck until the end of this semester. Okay, um, based, um, uh, based on my own experience, uh, so here are the challenges. Uh, so uh, the challenges that I have to face. Uh, so uh, I would like to say that uh, I have no choice uh, because uh, no matter what, we have to uh, overcome these challenges uh, to achieve, uh, to make sure that the student can achieve their uh, learning outcomes. Uh, so at this context, um, I, I would say that uh, no choice is the best choice because we have to overcome the challenges. So uh, for me uh, to find, uh, choose and learn uh, the best uh, platform uh, actually can overcome some uh, challenges at the same time, uh, I mean, can overcome a uh, few, one or two, three or, uh, challenges at the same time. So uh, the best platform uh, sometimes can motivate uh, both students and lecturers to stay uh, engaged and being connected. So here the platform uh, that I use uh, to implement the teaching uh, and learning online uh, as well as online assessment. So, uh, if, if, uh, as you can see, uh, I divided uh, to uh, two group of students. So, the student with a good internet connection uh, and the student uh, with a slow or weak internet connection. So, uh, for those who have a uh, good internet connection, uh, uh, they can uh, attend uh, the virtual classes. Uh, but for those who with slow or weak internet connection, uh, I conducted a few uh, discussion after a uh, few discussion uh, using Kaizala or they uh, use training uh, for a specific topic or chapter. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I, I want to share the features of uh, this Kaizala. So for me, I found uh, Kaizala is actually all in one uh, communication platform. So if you can see, um, uh, uh, if you can see from the list uh, under action over there, so uh, actually most I use announcement and then I use let's meet, uh, survey, quiz and training uh, uh, for TNL. Uh, so uh, for me, it's actually an uh, excellent, uh, simple communication platform uh, in order to maintain uh, a constant interaction with students. So it's actually mobile uh, chat ads, uh, apps, uh, but uh, it provides uh, effective interaction. Okay, uh, so not only that, I, uh, I can also send private message uh, to myself. Uh, but I'm not crazy by chatting with myself, okay? But uh, actually, I can save photo, link, uh, and any document uh, uh, for my own reference, okay? Um, so, uh, okay, this one is uh, one of the activities that uh, I, I give to the students. So I give the uh, progress quiz. Uh, so if you can see, I use uh, Smart uh, UMS uh, as well as Kaizala. So the above one is a quiz for, uh, from Kaizala and the, the, uh, the, the bottom one is a progress quiz from Smart UMS. Uh, so uh, this is non-assessment. So this one is just uh, to test uh, student understanding and help student to correct their misconception. And then to connect, the most important part for me, this progress quiz actually uh, can connect uh, the student to uh, learn, learning materials uh, such as uh, videos, uh, short videos, uh, and then the slide as well. Okay, um, okay from this uh, progress quiz, actually a uh, few students uh, a uh, few students uh, asked me, WhatsApp me, and asked why their answer uh, like this, why the answer was wrong. Uh, so uh, from there, I believe and I knew that even though not all of uh, all of them um, 
WhatsApp me and asking questions, but I believe uh, this one is actually helpful to help students. Okay, this one is online assessment. Uh, so this is the test that I did using Kaizala. Okay, uh, the few stage uh, before the test, during the test and after the test. Okay, uh, so uh, if you can see, um, so that one is uh, uh, at the beginning, uh, uh, before the test, I will uh, use action announcement. Uh, so with this action, uh, actually, um, the announcement of the test could be shared so uh, uh, to WhatsApp group as well as a reminder. So if student, uh, if student have any problem with the arrangement, uh, for example, for this one uh, on 11th of uh, May 2020, and then if they have any problem uh, regarding to the arrangement, so they can give comment. Okay. Uh, so uh, and. And also uh, the benefit of this announcement, I can share to the WhatsApp group as well. So I can send to the WhatsApp group a few times so that uh, as, as a reminder, so that they aware about the test. Uh, so during the uh, test, okay, um, during the test, uh, so uh, I use action for, for the test, I use a uh, survey. Okay, for this survey, uh, student must uh, answer the question in specific time that had been set. So once a close, a student was not able to submit the answer. Uh, so uh, as you can see, I said, Mohan baca comment dulu because uh, I give all the instruction at comment. So before they start, uh, before they started the uh, the test, so they have to read the instruction first at comment. So uh, not only that, uh, actually we can set uh, uh, set uh, this one. Uh, we ask them to share the location before started the uh, uh, the test. So if you can see, uh, the student was at Jalan at, at this time, actually the student was in campus. Okay. All right. So this is this one is after uh, the test. So uh, once the session. Or, or the test uh, close, so I can export the uh, result uh, 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 result to Excel file. So they will provide the link. So for this example, I send uh, the link uh, to the to uh, as a private uh, private message to my uh, to myself. Okay. So for more details, actually you can uh, go to this channel uh, for the, how. Uh, how to use or uh, how step by step how to use Kaizala. Okay, uh, this one is uh, one more online assessment. Uh, so this one is presentation. Uh, yeah, I use uh, Google Meet for this presentation because the student prefer to use Google Meet. Uh, so if you can see the student uh, quite impressive uh, because uh, they uh, use a proper attire at that time. Uh, so. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, for this uh, this slide, I, I would like to share about how Kaizala uh, helped me and the students uh, to communicate and 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 acknowledge uh, others by using Let's Meet. So if, if you can see Let's Meet here, uh, so it, it has calendar over there. So I gave the date uh, that I was available for this example uh, on 20th and 19th of May. So uh, once uh, after that, student can set their time and date. Uh, so everyone can see uh, the time and date that they have been set. So uh, the presentation uh, did not clash uh, at that time. So, uh, uh, so it's quite helpful. Um, but uh, because this one is not a common text, so uh, you can see it can can see clearly. All right. Uh, so this is the feedback from student. Uh, so the first student said, "I love you, Suka Kaizala," because this the first student uh, have uh, uh, has a weak uh, co uh, internet connection, so the, uh, she prefer Kaizala. But the second one uh, has good internet connection. Uh, she said that uh, by using Kazala, uh, uh, they can see the announcement clearly. Uh, so easy to get the info, is it aware about the activities that uh, I plan to do. Okay. Um, 
So as a conclusion, uh, digital education is very challenging indeed, especially when it comes to connectivity. So as a lecturer, it is important to keep our students motivated to stay engaged. So more importantly, we always have to give up. That's all. Thank you.